Dzień dobry, witamy bardzo serdecznie w programie English Breakfast Extra po Howardzie Webie, który nie tak dawno gościł w naszym studiu. Tym razem wybitny piłkarz sprzed lat, Ruth Hulit, który odwiedził naszą redakcję z okazji wydania książki, jak oglądać piłkę nożną, ale będziemy rozmawiać oczywiście głównie o, o lidze angielskiej. Hello, Ruth. How are you doing? Pleasure to, to meet you. Uh, and my first question is about the past. When you were a young player, Arsenal wanted you, but they, yes. they were struggling to buy you for 30,000 pounds. And it was like, it's too much for this young and wild guy. Oh, I don't uh, know. Has it changed your whole career? Because you finally, you, you, you didn't go to, to no, I was uh, I was very young. I was really playing for Harlem. And I think that, uh, yeah, there was some rumors that uh, Arsenal wanted me, but uh, I wanted to play first for the first team. I, did, I, just, I just played for Harlem. I just came there. So it didn't make any sense then to go already to England. I, and I, for me, it was very much important to play first team football. So therefore, I, I stayed in Harlem and I think that was the right decision. Today, a lot of young Dutch players, they are struggling in Premier League. They are trying to, to move on like Memphis Depay, for example. He's the yeah. best example. He's, he, he's been struggling in Manchester United. How do you yeah. think why? No, not everybody, you know. The Daily Blind is still there. Van Aarholt is there. Petersen is still there. Yamat. There's still a lot of players who play in the English Premier League. Um, of course, for um, Memphis, it, it's, it's Man United. You know, it's the biggest team in, uh, in England. And uh, he came as a young player. And, uh, and, and the coaches that played with him, they had, you know, they had their difficulties with him and, and he didn't play. So he made the right decision, I think, to, to, go, to go somewhere where he can play. And uh, he's a very talented player, young also, didn't play that long already, you know, on first team football. But yeah, maybe it was on that moment, May United was a little bit too much for him. And, uh, but he's a great talent and, uh, and I'm, I'm sure he will, uh, he will succeed in his career. Ronald Koeman said about young young generation of Dutch players, uh, they are not involved in the game. They are still with mobile phones. They are not like it. Do you agree with, with it? The, the most difficult part is that um, we as uh, you know, old football players and a different generation, we have to accept that this is the time for internet and, uh, and changing, and, and changing. people. People, um, they are communicating in a different way. I see people in the same table and they texting each other to, to have a conversation. Sending, so, sending photos. Yes, yes, in our days we didn't have all these other things. So we needed to do it with, you know, just how we just talking with each other, playing cards with each other. Now they have their laptops. They play on the internet, they play uh, FIFA football, they play all. There's much more for them. So on one term, you need to adapt yourself also as a coach a little bit. But you need to find and draw a line what is interfering in the process as a team. And then you have to anticipate on that because then it is too much. So uh, no mobile phones when you're eating, when you, have com you know, when you are together. And whatever you do in your room, or if, you know, you can do whatever you like. Vincent Janssen is another guy. Uh, he's, yes. he's really talented, but his battle with Hurricane now, it, yes. it looks like Mission Impossible. What do you recommend also to change a club? Uh, for him, you know, it's the sa it's same, you know, he just, not, not the same as Memphis, but, uh, you know, in the moment that Kane was, was injured, he couldn't do it, you know, the high tempo. I remember... Scored goals only from penalties. Who come, yeah, who comes to the Premier League, it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a lot in the beginning, a lot. So therefore, but he's a good player. And also, I wish he could go somewhere where he could play his first time football. Uh, of course, uh, Tottenham is happy with him because on the moment that Kane is injured, he still can, he he can still, still play. play. You have to he needs confidence. Replace. You know, it's just a matter of scoring goals. You know, he was there all the time. He had opportunities. He just missed the opportunities. There are a lot of Belgian players in Premier League. They yeah. are playing really key roles in, in yes. their clubs. Uh, it hurts you as no, a Dutch? No, 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 because football is like this. It's like a wave. Sometimes, you know, we had a long spell where we had dominated a lot on the Belgians. But now I'm very, very happy that the Belgians do like it because it gives us, again, a more motivation to do better like than... Like a competition, the, yeah? A little bit. 
we want, when, 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 when Holland is done, we want Belgium to succeed. And even though they have so much talent, they can't do it. Okay. You know, it's not a, it doesn't look like a team. With all these good players. So you have these, all these talent, but they don't make, you know, they don't do it. So and I hope eventually they will do it. Who's your favorite Dutch player in Premier League now? I've got my favorite. Oh, that is that is difficult. You know, because now, you know, as I, as you know, I'm now uh, also an assistant coach yeah. for the national team. <laughs> so I can't <laughs> give can't. a can't give a no, I can't say that. My favorite is Fine Album. Oh, he's playing really well for, 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 for Liverpool. Important player. He's working, but also important working really player. hard. Yeah, an important player also for the national team. Okay. Uh, let's talk about Chelsea. How can you compare your Chelsea with with this Chelsea? Oh, I can't. 2017. My Chelsea was a, was a team that didn't win not, nothing for a long, long time. I came there when they, the two stands were knocked down. <laughs> they were just rebuilding a little bit the stadium. Uh, not so much money. And they didn't have a lot of money. And they were just trying to get out of here. And, uh, you know, when I took over as a coach, I, I bought all these nice players into Chelsea and people couldn't believe it. And from there on now, when Abramovich took over, it was even better. You invented the term of sexy football. Yeah. Uh, which team is playing the sexiest football? I think Real now? Madrid at the moment. No, but in England. Oh, in England. Ooh. I like Tottenham at the moment. It's a good team. I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They but no trophies. <laughs> no so trophy, but they play, some, they play some, some good football. Yeah, I like them. We can see a lot of big transfers. Uh, I was wondering how much do you cost you, Marco Van Basten and Fran Frank Rijkaard today, your trio? Yeah, I'm not million, five at hundred, least. At five least, hundred, <laughs> <laughs> at least a hundred. <laughs> yes, at least a hundred. Okay. Your former club, Newcastle United, is coming back to... Yeah, very uh, proud of them. What do Good. you predict for them for the, for the next Look, they need, to, uh, they need to keep the team, maybe to add some players as well. I think it was an, 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 it's a very good task. Uh, but they need to buy players. If you want to stay in the Premier League, whoa, it's difficult. So uh, I'm, I'm curious to see who they're going to buy. Uh, and, uh, and also if they can keep the team. And if uh, Benitez is still going to stay. I hope so, because there were some rumors maybe he would leave and then another job. I don't know. Because of the owner, he's always like... Uh, no, you know, uh, owners have, uh, have their own opinions as well. Okay. What about Chelsea in Champions League? Because um, English clubs, they, they have been struggling for struggling last year in, in Champions League. Do you think they can change it? as a team, Antonio Conte and... This Look, this Conte team. knows how to play European football. Uh, he got experience in that. And uh, it's, it's a look, it's, it's such a different way of playing when you go out of the uh, Premier League and you go <laughs> into Europe, because it's a different game, it's a technical game, it's been played different. Not as high tempo all the time. You know, high tempo, slower tempo, slower tempo, yeah. You try to, to go to a climax in, in, in English football, it's going to climax all the time. And of course, you like can't do that. fourth and fifth gear, yeah? Yeah, you, you can't, you can't always. Sometimes you have to slow down a little bit, make your own tempo. And when that happens in Europe, then the English don't want to continue and they tackle and then the referee says, oh, this is a foul. Not in England, but in Europe it's a foul. And then they get frustrated because they can't keep on going. Uh, what's your favorite memory from, from England? I love, the, I love English football. I'm fond of the English style. I'm fond of the English way of life. Uh, it's a funny situation because Big Nev Boyag is calling to you. No. <laughs> Ciao, Bella. Ciao, Bella. Come on. Come on. I'm here in the middle of the interview. Come on. Ma vuol dire che hai tante potere ancora in Polonia, eh? Hey. <laughs> Come va? Oh, ok, va bene, ti ringrazio. E ci vediamo ancora. Ma tu sei anche alla finale a Cardiff? Ah, ok, io, so, io, so, io ci vediamo lì, va bene? Ciao, ciao, bacio, ciao, ciao, ciao. Ha, ha, ha.
intruder, but nice. Uh, this is Poland. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is crazy. Managers are, are changing positions for, for their players uh, today. But you also, when you, when yeah. you went to Chelsea, you, you started to play as a sweeper. Uh, I started as a sweeper. A, as and a it was, it, it was uh, for you because you wanted it, yeah? I wanted and to go back Hoddle. to sweeper. I, I, I started as a sweeper original. Uh, and uh, then they, 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 they moved me. Then I went to striker, from striker, right winger, right winger, right midfielder. I played everything. So therefore, uh, I wanted to go back again. And uh, yeah, I, I, I was in, in those days in English football was just about you know heading the ball away and things. So when I played kick a long ball, long ball, yeah. and so when I I remember that I had to play my first games and. And a long ball came from the opposition, and I saw the ball was going over the striker. So I took it on my uh, <laughs> chest, boom, and I gave it to my other player. And my player was like, what the hell are you doing? I don't want the ball. And he just kicked it away. I said, no, just keep on playing. And then Glenn Hoddle They were afraid of no, taking the ball. Not used, yeah. no, no, well, you're not used to do that in that situation. You know, you play because you're under pressure. But you know, you just play. Who's your favorite attacking midfielder now in, in Premier League? The attacking the midfielder. Uh, in the in, no, Van Aal was not scoring that many goals. He's uh, very smart he's, in penalty areas. Yes, he's very smart, but uh, uh, I like him. Uh, of course, Lampard was always the best, yeah, but he doesn't he's my play. my favorite any, one. Yeah, he doesn't play anymore. Uh, he's got a lot of goals. Um, maybe the one of Tottenham, the, 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 is it uh, the from the. Wong? What is his name again? Ericsson? No, 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 no. Ericsson is not a. He doesn't play. Uh, score a lot of goals. What is it? Uh, the, is it a Chinese guy? What is it? No, Song. Song. It's, it's Korean, from eh? Korea. Yeah. yeah, Korean guy. He plays a little bit on the outside, but also in midfield. And Song, uh, I, th I like him very much. He's really fast. Good ah, dribbling. Yes, he he's something that I, that I yeah. It, he and they use him more and more and more. Yeah, I like him. He was fighting. About but the he plays a little bit on the outside and on the left when he comes inside in the midfield, yeah. Okay, so the very last question is from our fans. It's stupid, but don't worry. Is Nathan Ake your son? No. <laughs> he doesn't even look like me. The only thing he, he, the only thing that looks like me was his hair. But yeah, I saw in Daily Mail. Yeah, yeah, I went, you yeah, saw yeah, it. yeah because I went to, to visit him yeah. for an interview also. And uh, for him, it's, it's, just, it's that example what I say about young people go to the Premier League, don't play. Also, Ake came back from Bournemouth and sits on the bench. <laughs> you know, I want him to play football. The more he plays, the better it is. Um, but uh, hopefully he does well. And uh, he's been uh, selected now also for the national team. So hope he does well. OK, thank you very much. You're welcome. Rud Hulit był waszym i moim gościem. Oglądajcie nasze produkcje na, na kanale YouTube'owym Przeglądu Sportowego. Na dzisiaj to już wszystko i widzimy się ponownie w następnych programach.